Great Pretender is one of the most exciting shows of the year, and the first half of this Wit Studio original project has recently been released on Netflix. So, without further ado, here are five things you need to know about Great Pretender. The name Ryota Kosawa is one that's much more familiar in Japan than it is in the West. In fact, Great Pretender could be regarded as his global debut. He's famous in Japan as a film and drama screenwriter, with one of his big accomplishments being his award-winning confidence man JP Drama, which also spawned two films thus far. WIT Studio President George Wada approached him a while back about creating an anime together, but Kosawa was nervous about tackling a new medium and a new audience entirely. Entirely, but he eventually took up the offer with the hopes of making an anime that doesn't just appeal to anime fans. Yoshiyuki Sadamoto is mainly known as the character designer of Evangelion and a founding member of Studio Gainax, but since those days of designing cute girls in plug suits, he's been approached with doing more realistic works like Mamoru Hosoda's Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Summer Wars and Wolf Children. But even then, Great Pretender was still a challenge, because now, not only did he have to depict characters realistically, but needed to depict many different ethnicities realistically as well. To achieve this, Sadamoto model studied images of actors from around the world and paid close attention to detail. But the characters aren't the only appeal. The backgrounds are seriously unique. The team references a lesser known American artist by the name of Brian Cox. His art was shared amongst the team who used it as a basis to develop the style of the show. This is the fourth time background director Yusuke Takeda has worked with Wit Studio and so he worked closely with the team trial and error to get these backgrounds right, while colour designer Yuko Kabari worked on the unique colour design. They hadn't quite worked out the style by the first episode but say that it gets better over time. At the start of the first episode, they have the two lead Japanese voice actors speaking English, with the perception that they're both pretty much fluent. To a native speaker, it doesn't come across, but they did spend a lot of time trying to get it right. This meant a lot of retakes and study, even if it was only for the first 10 minutes of the show. After that, the whole thing just switches to Japanese. And for the English dub, it's kind of weird. For the characters speaking Japanese, they keep the Japanese dialogue, but when those characters try and speak English, they use the English voice actors, but have them put on an accent. At the 10 minute mark, they all just speak in American accents. A lot of effort just to make sure we know there's a lot of languages going on. Great Pretender has been compared to Cowboy Bebop in the way that it uses a jazz soundtrack. This was the work and idea of composer Yutaka Yamada, who became well known for his work on Tokyo Ghoul in 2014. Since then, he's actually moved to Los Angeles himself and has started to get work over there as well. So he's got a good idea of what the music scene is like in LA, which would have prompted his use of rap during the LA part of the story. But mainly, he just wanted to do some jazz fusion, and thankfully, that ended up fitting with the pace of the show. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.